What's going on, people? Me and the wife were making a video today to show you guys the difference between getting your own insurance and then uh, leasing onto a company and getting their own insurance. Uh, last year, we were paying, we have our own authority, and last year, we were paying uh, close to $700. After the first year, that you have your your account with your insurance uh i've been told by my broker and a couple of friends that have their own authority that uh your insurance drops at first i didn't believe it but uh guess what it's true uh i filed for my renewal last month and uh i just got the contract and uh let me show you what took place this this was my down payment uh, this is what I'm gonna pay and this is the interest that I'm paying on it this is my monthly payment right here five hundred and thirty nine dollars and seventy nine cents this is in case I am late five hundred and sixty six dollars and seventy eight cents like I said last year I was paying almost seven hundred bucks if you lease on to oh by the way that's uh it's my company name above and beyond trucking and this is my broker that's my broker if you lease onto a company, uh, most companies are gonna charge you from uh, five seventy a week for insurance, up to two hundred bucks for insurance. So that's the good thing about having your own authority and having your own insurance. Now here in Southern California, there is companies that let you go under your own authority, but what they want you to do is put their placards on your truck. By law in California, you can run under two authorities. So you running running under somebody else's uh, authority is not bad. But if you get your own insurance, you're winning because look at the amount that I'm paying nowadays. And next year, next year it should drop even more. So do the numbers, people. Get your own insurance. Get your own authority. And, uh, you know... Uh, Cut down on your costs. Cut down on your costs and then concentrate on paying other bills while you cut down on your costs. So this year I'm doing pretty good because, let me do the math for you guys. Let's just round the number off. Last year I was paying $700 for insurance. Excuse my, my riding, I'm a trucker, not an office guy. And then, oops, sorry about that. So last year, this is what I was. Uh, this is what it looked like: uh, seven hundred dollars on insurance, one thousand two hundred and forty-three bucks on truck payment. That was my monthly truck payment. So I am up at. Let's do the math for you guys. That's what I was paying last year, which was uh, one thousand nine hundred and forty-three bucks. Well, this year I cut my costs. Uh, insurance is at $539.79. Insurance. And my truck payment is at 830 bucks. My wife is whispering in my ear to explain to you guys what I did to my truck. I refinanced my truck through a, a title loan company 
called the opportunity funds and I got my truck payment down to uh, 830 so let's see how much money we're saving this year So this year I'm up to uh, $2,369.79. So that is not bad, people. That is not bad. That's close to 300 bucks that I cut down on my costs. So I have just about $300 freed up from my monthly payments. And that's something that we can use for credit cards or other pay uh, stuff that we need to pay this year so yeah people just uh go get your own insurance go get your own insurance i've showed you the numbers sorry you can't see them anymore because of the marker but there's my monthly payment right there and there's my late fee if i'm late so get your own insurance people get your own authority as a truck driver and uh as long as you can try to find the shortcuts to this business, you will save some money and you will be able to stack your chips. Hope I helped somebody out. Have a good day.